Hiya crafters, Amy here, and today I'm going to make a simple shaker card using tool and pattern paper. Now this is a piece of pattern paper from my scrap drawer. It was a two size, but I cut it down with a stitched edge rectangle die from Paper Rose. You can see here up to an A2 size card base. It has a nice clean white border. And then I also have this tool. This is the same stuff that you would make tutus out of, um, and you can find it at your local craft store. And this is some three quarter inch double sided stick tape from scrapbook.com. And then here's the little innards for my shaker card. I have some sequins and little flat back shiny bits. And here's a couple photos of the card that I'm going to make. You can see on this close up one, you can really see the texture of that tool. And that's what's going to hold in all the little pieces parts. So these come together so easy, guys. I can't believe it. I did a, a video recently um, with another one of these type of cards, and it was just so fun. I had to do it again. So here I'm shopping my sentiment book. This is where I store my die cuts in these baseball card pocket protector sheets. I'm just kind of flipping through. I don't really have a plan in mind, but I'm thinking celebration or birthday sort of card, um, since it will be a special shaker sort of card. I end up deciding to go with this uh, Celebrate die cut that is from Catherine Pooler and I kind of acquired it recently. And it's cut out of like a matte gold cardstock. I'm just gonna attach it directly to this panel with some liquid glue, kind of carefully putting it on the back. And I will dab off the excess glue on a piece of scratch paper because I don't want it to really ooze out the edges um, and kind of cause those little shaker bits to stick to it where I don't want it to. So once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna pounce it off here on this scratch paper and then attach it right onto this panel of pattern paper. Now I am on a kick lately, guys, trying to use up pattern paper in any and every way that I can think of. So I thought, huh, why not turn it into one of these shakers? So here I'm just going to use this um, two-way stick tape on the back of this panel. I'm going to go right around the four edges. This is what's ultimately going to hold down the tool, but I will end up putting another round of this um, on there just to kind of attach it to the card base once I'm done with this step. So I'm just kind of carefully going around the outer perimeter, but I'm going to leave the backing on there for now while I go to the next step. And then I'm going to dump out some of these little bits that I'm going to put on the inside of the shaker. I have these little trays. Uh, the gray one is from the rabbit hole designs. Um, but these are going to kind of hold my little innards while I'm working here. And I decide I want to glue a few of them down onto the panel. So that way, if all of them are kind of resting on the bottom of the card, then at least some of these will still be in view to kind of, you know, showcase the, the design. So I'm just using the liquid glue again just to attach a little smattering in odd numbers. I have three in the top right corner and two on the bottom. So those will remain in place even when the other ones are moving around. Now I'm just going to cut off a strip of this tool from the roll. Um, I do end up realizing this one is a little bit small, so I did cut another one off screen just so it had a little bit more wiggle room. But ultimately, you just need it big enough to kind of wrap around all four corners of your card panel. And here I have my um, embossing tool from the Rabbit Hole Designs. The reason I'm doing this is just in case there's any extra little stick around that word die cut or those little sequins that I glued down, I just want to kind of deactivate any stick because I don't want those sequins to get stuck on it. I want them to have free movement um, once I attach that tool to the card panel. So I'm just kind of wiping it off the little bit of residual dust with a piece of microfiber cloth. Um, and then I'm going to remove three sides of this tape. Now this stuff is super sticky. You can use whatever score tape you have. I just found that this thicker um, type kind of held on to it a little bit better um, and just made it a little easier to work with. But if you have the smaller um, sizes of score tape in your stash, that will absolutely work as well. So the key here is just to fold over the edges. You don't want to do it too tight um, because you don't want to bow your card stack and you also don't want to kind of stretch out the tool. So just gently fold it over um, on the edges and then you kind of have a little bit of a pocket here. Now I do go back in and kind of cut off the little corners where those folds are just because there's a little bit of excess tool and you don't want to kind of have it bumpy when you attach it to your card base. But it's really easy to do. You just kind of 
hold up the little corner where you folded it over and then just snip off the excess. So here I'm just going to dump in these little sequins into this pocket that I've created. And you can see I have a lot of extra tool there and ends up kind of getting in my way. So I decided to just snip it off because yeah, it's just getting in my way. And then I dump in a bunch of those white ones, actually more than I wanted. So I ended up dumping some more back out. Um, got a little crazy there. You don't want to overdo it because the, the benefit of making a shaker like this rather than um, the more traditional types with the foam tape is that it's still relatively flat. It should be easy to ship um, because it doesn't have a lot of bulk. So you don't want to go too crazy with the sequins and you don't want to do anything that's got too small of a sequin. So if you were to do like a mix, um, like I did in the, the other video, just make sure you don't have anything really tiny, like the little um, seed beads and things like that might be a little bit too small and they might poke out. But anything like this size is great with the tool. It's not gonna, it's not gonna come flying out of it. So here you can see, I'm gonna go again around the outer perimeter. Now this is in order to attach it to the card base and you will find when you do this that you do have some stick coming through the tool um, but I don't find that it's enough to securely attach it to a card base so you definitely want to go again um, around with your adhesive and do another round of it on top of the tool just to make sure that it's nice and secure on your card base because if that tool lifts up for any reason um, then it might not stay stuck on your card base, which would be really sad after all your effort. <laughs> and also put one on the center as well where you don't have tool because then you know it'll help it really stay in place um, on your card base and it's not going anywhere. So you can see I can barely touch this thing, it's so sticky. Um, but I'm just gonna line it up on my card base. You basically got one shot if you're using something crazy sticky like this. So you could do liquid glue if you wanna be able to have a little bit more wiggle room, um, but I was able to make it work here. Now this is Simple Strips from Tailored Expressions. I just wanted to add kind of a sub sentiment for the inside of the card. And I thought this teal one looked really well with the uh, colors and the pattern paper. So I was debating here on doing it on the front because I kind of liked how that looked. But ultimately I ended up um, deciding to um, liquid glue that to the inside of the card. So it says, wishing you the best day ever. So um, again, probably a birthday card, but really you could use it for any sort of celebration type of card. But you can see those pieces move around freely. They're not gonna come flying out. You don't have the bulk. Um, a foam tape and things like that from a more traditional sort of shaker card. So I hope you enjoy this and this gives you some inspiration to try a new sort of shaker and to use up some of that pattern paper if you hoard it like I do. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I will link um, some other videos for you to check out below. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.